What is going on, Dar Sizzle Nation? If you're new to the channel, my name is Darcy, also known as Dar Sizzle, and this is Brian, and we are a fishing couple. Before we go any further, we just wanted to say happy 4th of July. It's a big 4th of July weekend. We really hope you guys are catching a ton of fish, hanging out with family, and really just enjoying this Independence Day. Yes, and if you are watching this video right now, thank you very much for watching on your long holiday weekend. In the video you guys are about to see, this was shot about a week ago, offshore fishing out of Stewart, Florida, and we caught a bunch of fish. As always, we're gonna show you exactly how we did it, such as the rig and the bait used. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video, because I'm gonna show you the exact locations where we caught the fish, which a lot of channels will not show you. Let's get right to it. Good morning everybody, what's up? Coming at you here from Stewart, Florida today. We are headed out deep sea fishing, really excited. Today we're on a 34 venture, fishing with my buddy, Captain Peter and his friend Frank, and putting of course behind the camera. We're rolling out now, it's a gorgeous morning. We're gonna try to beat the storms as well. Alright, we have arrived at the bait spot, and you know when you're at the bait spot here because all the boats are compact into a tiny little area. So, rigging up my sabiki here, and we're gonna drop and catch some bait. Oh, I think we're good. Killing it. Let's get some more, we can sell them. <laughs> Snapper, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be watching closely. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start out drifting first. Okay. Alright, see how that goes. If uh if it doesn't work out after a few drifts, maybe we'll anchor up and we'll chum and uh, okay. throw some stuff in the water, alright? All right guys, we made it to the fishing location and we have ran south to uh, the Jupiter area, kind of Loran Tower is a well-known area everybody fishes. I just picked out a big, beautiful pilchard from the live well. Just get him rigged up here. As you can see, just rigged him up like that, mainly so he doesn't re-hook himself twice. Uh, so you want to go up to the bottom lip and then up to the top lip. So got a long, long leader. The longer the better when you're bottom fishing. And I'm using my combo today that I actually brought and you've seen in my videos, guys. But I'm using my Ocean Max 08 reel. Love this reel. Been using it a while now with no work, with no issues. It's a Maxell. And then I also have it paired with the Maxell Ocean Max Gold. So we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna drop it down. The current is moving not too fast today, which is good for bottom fishing. So we're gonna see what happens. I got my fingers crossed. Live up and strike. Got him. Come on to the back here. Just got a bottom bite and actually didn't catch that fish. But Frank just hooked up on a top line, basically a flat line on the surface with a balloon. We're gonna see what it is, but he's reeling it in now. That's the best time in the world. Yep. Yeah. Wake up to that every day. Back up. Nice kingfish in the boat. Frank did a good job reeling it in and he is going to smoke that fish. Kingfish is good. It's very good to eat fresh the same day. And if not, then the best thing to do with it is to smoke it and make a fish dip out of it. Uh, so that fish is in the box. Let's see what we what else we can get. Got him. Got him. Something. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. We just decided to anchor. We did a couple drifts and the bite seems to be a little slow today, but that's fishing and it also could change at any point. So we decided after our drift to set up with chum and anchor, which is the better way to do it. Um, that way you could bring a fish to your actual boat. So I got the leader, here comes the fish. Oh, baby got. muffin snapper. Oh, little baby. All right. Baby mutton. That's a good sign. We're in the right spot. So this spot, oh. we're looking for snapper, grouper, 
Um, maybe a mahi will swim up, which a happened earlier. A mutton snapper for the mutton queen. Yes. <laughs> Just need one a little bigger that I can keep. <laughs> but it's a nice species. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are, cause that, awesome that, that was colorful, that one. Yes. So that was my dead bait rig. We got a live bait rig out. So we just got to sit here and wait. We just got chum started flowing out That's and right. Captain Pete is cutting up chunks of dead bait, trying to make the water real stinky and attracts everything to us. All right, guys, we switched up again today. We have a pressure that is going lower. We have like a system moving into our area. So we're expecting a lot of rain this afternoon. But I think that's what's causing the bike to be a little slow today. So we are now on a wreck and I am hooked up. We're gonna see what it is. Using a chicken rig. We're just trying to make drifts and see what we can come across and see what we can catch because the bite is a little tough. So that's fishing. Whoa, Red. That's a big, oh my gosh, it's huge. That's familiar. Hey. Y'all take that, nice. Thank you. Whoever you are up there. Yes, thank you, fish gods. All right, that is a stud vermilion snapper right there. I think the, the minimum size, they have to be like 10 inches, but this is a, this one is a big boy. Really good eating fish, guys. Oops, don't want them to go out the door. Oops, oops, making a mess now. But check them out, check out the coloring on that guy. Gorgeous. So at least we found some fish that are hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and drop again and see what else we can catch. But beautiful. And he gave me a little injury too. You got cut? There you go, what did I say? You're right. <laughs> got another one. What did I say? Get from the belt. You need the belt, you need the belt. No. <laughs> yeah, bringing fish in the boat. And it's That's another, another whoa, another beauty. Another really pretty vermilion snapper. Up here in the Stewart area, they seem to have like the giant vermilion snapper that grow up here. But it's also red snapper season as well, so there's just an assortment of stuff going on. Uh, but you know, happy to put fish in the fish box, that's awesome. Ben and some rods. And we're using a chicken rig here, you can see, with J hooks, so you actually have to like set the, you have to set the hook on the fish once they eat it compared to a circle hook. And um, we're using pieces of chunks of squid as our bait, dead bait. Two hooks on dropper loops and a heavy weight to get down because we're really deep. Just want to give you guys a quick reminder about my website and the merchandise that I sell there. For instance, we have Darcizzle apparel, we have 8x10 photos that I will autograph for you, 2019 calendars that are on sale now. Ooh, I'm getting bites and also fish hook and anchor bracelets that I hand tie myself. I have dozens and dozens of colors to choose from and an assortment of colors uh, on the charms as well. So like silver, gold, antique brass, all that good stuff. I'll link it down below in the description if you want to support the channel. Get him, 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 get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, you can take it out of there now. All right, doing another drift and Frank is now hooked up. He just had a nice fish take a solid run. Hopefully we can land it. Ooh. Hop, hop. All right, that was a solid fish. We could just tell by the way it was fighting, but that is a nice amberjack for Frank. And we'll probably more than likely barbecue that fish or smoke that fish. There you go. There you go, Doss is all. Hooked up. Oh, all right. Hooked up again, and this particular wreck we're fishing, we just had a jerk boat come and like anchor right on top of it. So we're doing the best we can. Um, and now I hooked the fish finally after a couple drifts. We're gonna see what it is. Well, at least we got ourselves dinner. So good, pretty. Good job, good job. All right, third vermilion snapper for me. Yeah, okay, so pretty. Yeah, we'll bring it up. Oh, I was just saying like, that's a weird deformity, but it's actually from the hook. Once you once you hook them and you reel them up from that depth, it creates a giant hole in the mouth. But he's dinner, so we're gonna put them in the fish box. But they're so pretty. I love how pretty they are. Delicious to eat. And they get like up to five pounds, probably even bigger. So this guy is a keeper though.
another great day of fishing there, Sizzle. That's awesome. Another epic day. Captain Pete is like a really great uh, captain. He used to fish out of Montauk, Long Island forever, and he's just really great. But let me tell you guys, like I said in the beginning, how uh, and where to catch those fish out of Stewart. And we love fishing out of Stewart. But here's the gist of it. You're gonna head out of Stewart Inlet, which is also the Port St. Lucie Inlet, or the St. Lucie Inlet. And where you get the bait is typically either uh, sand sprit, no. Sand pile. Sand pile, that's right. Sand sprit is the ramp, <laughs> so that's good to know too. And sand pile or bull shark barge is where we get a lot of the bait, okay? And that's all public numbers. And in fact, I put some links, or Darcy's put some links down in the description below, which is gonna tell you exactly where all of the GPS locations are and everything else. And just a secret too, if you see a big pile of boats really close to each other, that's where they're catching bait. Yeah, not a secret, but yeah, that's, that's how you find bait too. <laughs> yeah. It's very easy. <laughs> just okay. join the crowd. Right. And then the first spot we went to is called the Rand Tower, which is a very popular spot around here. And also, of course, on those GPS coordinates that I, we provided down below. And then tip, people typically hit the six, the eight mile reef. Again, we got the information down below. And also the Vermilions, the exact reef and spot we caught them on, we've logged in the Fish Angle Wrap. If you've heard, that's one of our new uh, sponsors. And Darcy uh, logs a bunch of her catches there with all the information and all the GPS coordinates. So that's where you find the fish. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Go ahead and comment below if you did. We would appreciate your feedback. And as always, check out all the links down in the description below. My calendars, the fish hook and anchor bracelets that I make. I even have patriotic colors since it's a patriotic weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, we really do appreciate you. And until our next adventure, Follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.